Hello, babies. Hi. How all y'all doing? We're going to play some more Resident Evil Village on the Village of Shadow difficulty. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to order food. Because mm-hmm. I don't play Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that's a lie. I've played almost entire games. I've played entire Resident Evil games. That's right, you pl- you did. You almost beat Resident <laughs> Evil 4, and we beat Resident Evil 5 together. You just don't remember because you were drunk. Yes, uh-huh. and also I don't give a damn. Yeah. You know how it's like earlier I was just like, you know, it's like I was present, I was filming, but there was no film? There was no film in the camera, yeah. You were listening, you just weren't committing it to memory. You were just feeling the conversation. It's like I was playing the game. Uh-huh. I played the game. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Like, it wasn't fun for me. Alright, you have your ear by the audio, you can hear it. Uh... I'll tell you when there's a cutscene, that's why. Okay. Because there's gotta be one I'll... coming up. I can turn down the volume on this, right? Oh no, this ain't good. This is the this is the bad controller that drifts. That's not good. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Do you want to switch? Yeah. Put it on my lap. Oh, that's a shit start. Maybe that's why it it's uh, shining like a flashlight. <laughs> They're like the controller's shitty. Well, you know, too, this is also not official PlayStation merchandise, I don't think. <clears throat> oh, yes, it is. I lied. Let's see how I do this. I need to, uh... You know, that, like I said, I think we need to user. focus on getting better technology. User to make yourself just now. Um... Center button there. You gotta press and hold it. There you go. Jessica. There you go. Uh, do... Yeah, press yeah. X. Yeah. You're Sorry. All right, let's get to work, babies. Back to work. We got this. And I'm gonna restart because I just took damage from an, an attack that was probably very easily avoidable. Hmm. You have such a big head. I do. It's like I put it on his, and I have to like shorten it so that my ear is actually on the. Uh, Earphone? Oh yeah, wasn't this the place the guy was like farming them at? Umberize, I need some backup. Why don't you just follow his? Uh... Follow a different guy's guide. I'm, uh, cause I, cause I want to just try rush through this area, cause I'm like over this. So I'm gonna try and like rush a couple times, cause that's what the SHC speed runner's doing. Yeah, but like. Oh right, I was getting Chinese food. By the way, guys, you're totally going to be hearing us, like, chewing. Oh, he killed me? As he should've, because I rushed in... I rushed in in a manner that should that should get you killed. Yeah. You know, I'm not mad, because, well, you know, you just ran into all these enemies on the hardest difficulty. What do you think? It was, was Hunan happen? Chicken, right? That... That you hated. You hated that place. Yeah. Like, that was just... Sorry to put that shout out, you know, like, to your restaurant, but seriously, it's like, if you want good reviews, do better. <laughs> like, that was shameful to all cooking. Like, literally, the egg rolls were bad. The cabbage was rotten. Like, it takes a long time for cabbage to go bad. I'm like, see, this is why you should never cook for Jess, because she'll remember every mistake you make. I need some backup. <laughs> no, and I pay for food, especially, like, because, you know, it's like when you buy food out, it's an event. You know, like, it means, like, yay, I don't have to cook. I don't understand your strategy here. Are you just gonna try to outrun them? Because they're faster than you. Like, you're literally just like, just 
literally almost there. You see that clearing right ahead? Once I get to that clearing, they literally all despawn. Oh. Damn it, you got me. Once I get to that clearing, they all despawn. I've never Let's ordered from this place before. Oh, I made it! I made it! Oh, yay! Alright, Lobo. Marking the target. Alright, cool. Good stuff. Oh, wait, no, I did order from this place before. Mm -hmm. I did make it. Awesome. So now we got this sequence right here. Yes, there's a healing item. Dang, why the hell is that so small, so expensive? And this is the shame on you. This is the part. Did that pork get more expensive? I have no idea. So this is the part that carcinogen makes look super fucking easy. So let's see how easy it is. is. Well, let me see something. Can I? Can I run backwards the way I can and get that loot I never didn't pick up, or something happened to block? Yep. Look at that. Something pops up behind you to block you, so you can't go back the way you came. Ooh, yay! All right, so for I this, can get like a combo sushi box. So for this part, I use the uh, the tracker on it, and then they shoot it with a satellite. Now. Just Once a they drop down, and I gotta do the Carson sh shuffle. Carson shuffle. Oh, yeah. Super easy. Fuck carcinogen making this shit look easy. <laughs> Listen, we don't trash talk other players. I do. I trash talk people who make shit look easy. How dare they be good at the game? Exactly. <laughs> Going with the speed run strat, how they do it. They just block here. Uh huh. Got more expensive, man. I'm nearby. I'll handle him. Okay. Damn it. Oh my god, that was easy. That went right over his head. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I heard the joke. I was just fucking I couldn't laugh because I'm so ecstatic at what just fucking happened. While Man, you're ordering the, video um, game. When you're ordering the I'm food, you didn't the notice the that it was like, I have to hold this trigger in place to mark the target. And this guy was coming after me, so I had to literally dodge him. <laughs> I had this epic gamer moment. And, and I'm like, just in here just like, mm, Chinese do I want food? cream kind of cheese on all of my <laughs> sushi? <or laughs> Alright, so then this fight is either going to be really hard or very easy. Oh, you should listen. Here's some dialogue. Guarding the Mega Mycy, huh? Oh, shit. So much for that.
All right, babies. And we will see you next time in the next episode. And Rob will beat up this dude with a hammer. All right, bye, guys. Bye. And we're back. Hey, babies. And now we're fighting this dude. Mm -hmm. All right, it, it's fine. It's just about learning how learning his attacks as he telegraphs him. Oh, go oh, fake! That was so close to him, and it doesn't hurt him. Are you kidding me? Reloading now. Just a Anything that you want from Chinese? Uh, you know me. I like me some dumplings. I like me some sweet and sour chicken, some chicken sauce, whatever you feel. Like. Well, I mean, like, is there anything that you particularly are craving, like, out of those? Sushi, I guess. Would be nice if you're ordering, like, that sushi. Because I'm getting sushi. Okay. Um, but I'm ordering a lot of it, so I don't want to get, like, a bunch of other stuff. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to make this a $100 order, yeah, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Because I'm telling you people, I'm that kind of bougie. different see this is the thing I never understood about Chinese food it's like what's the difference between chow fun and my fun who's chow no I mean like the the like the dish it's like when I read description it's just like you know it's like um that one comedian oh, how did I fucking survive that do you remember that comedian um, the one that talked about like you know every, everything the same the same at like Taco Bell. Yeah, Jim it's Gaffigan. like it's all it's all lettuce, tomato. Yeah, tortilla, meat, meat cheese, meat, cheese, and vegetable. <laughs> meat, cheese, yeah. and that's what it feels like with Chinese food. It's just like you got your rice and you got your we protein really kept track of what time and we you started, got cabbage. We, we should have really kept track of what time we started, shouldn't we? Have? What do you mean? So that way we know when it's been two and a half hours. Well, it's only been 10 minutes, so... So we started at, like, 9.40, <laughs> so that would be, like, 9.40, 10 40, Captain, 11 40. Yeah, I'm on my way. 10.40, 11.40. So let's just, let's just say midnight. We'll stop playing around, like, midnight. Okay. I'm just I'm just I mean, you can play as long as you want, hon. Like, I mean, we're in no yeah, yeah. rush if I play here. If I want to play less, I'll play less, but I, it's like, I, I do want to watch you play Final Fantasy. And you okay. know, this is, and this is for the best, because I figure, you know what, if I'm playing this game over two and a half hours and I still haven't beaten the game yet, I'm probably going to be in a foul down. mood. I'm going that is the for sure. Because, like, you don't understand. Like, there's Cause that's a, You get, like, angry, angry in video games. Like, yeah, and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be better about that, because it's like... Like, you're the type where I'm, like, you know, like, I want to go into mother modes where it's like, you know, like... If you can't be nice while playing your video games, you don't get to play video games. It's one of those things where, like, I just get pissed off by Injustice, and, like, the Heisenberg fight <laughs> felt unfair. <laughs> Heisenberg fight felt completely unfair, you know what I mean? I know, honey, I know. I'm just... <laughs> like, I, don't... I feel like this is all the moments that we've all cool. been through. It's like one of those things where it's like, you know... Like, I get uncomfortably angry at technology. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I make people uncomfortable around me when I get angry at technology because I will, like, cut somebody. Oh, this is awful. This fight's just an awful fight because it's a small arena. You can't, like, see him and move at the same... You know what I mean? Like, you can't look at him and move at the same time. Uh -huh. Like, in real life, you can turn your head and keep track of where this guy is, but it's like, in this way, you know, with this angle, you can't. You just have to... And not only that, he's a fucking tank. Yeah. He's a bullet sponge. Oh. 
There you ah. go. Hitbox isn't clearly defined. What, from what I understand, though, he, he he does telegraph all his attacks. Like, oh, about... that's the reason too. This place is expensive for like no fucking reason. But like all Chinese food places, prices went up. Sorry, I was listening. I just I kind of I I saw. Like I get offended. How like did he you hear know me. Like I, I I it's like one of those things where it's like I thought I read the attack perfect. I thought he was gonna swing there, so I went there. Yet somehow that still hits me. How did he hit me? If you're gonna mock me, I'm gonna start hitting you. How about that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't make fun of me. <laughs> you think you. about what you just said, no, Mister. No, you deserve it. You're being no, a bully. No, no, no. My oh. parents taught me to stand up to bullies. <laughs> I found a way. And now. here you are I'm making fun of me. This of big guy's stay. picking on me. You're laughing. You are absolutely ridiculous. You know that, right? Well, that's the point. I mean, no one wants to listen to this. Well, no one wants to listen to this. Anyway, but they especially don't want to listen to this for not trying to be funny. I mean, true. Huh? Like, this wait, isn't a... wait, is abuse funny to you? It's hilarious. <laughs> Like, this isn't a how-to guy. I'm not showing you how to beat Village of Shadow difficulty. I'm a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. You're on the ground. There's an I mean, I don't see why not. Because I keep okay, failing, so that this guy would be completely unreliable. Yeah, but this is like the learning curve. You're showing the pre-planning to learning how. I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody has to practice. He got me that time. He, he earned that it's one. It's like, it's not see, like you don't know how to that play one. the game, hun. I wasn't mad at that one, see, because that was fair. Like, that was totally me. I fucked up, you know what I mean? Uh. I, I, it, it, it bothers me when it feels unfair, like, when it feels like I didn't do anything wrong, yet he still, like, gets me, you know what I mean? Like, that's Oh, I agree, like. because I've been- I'm actually stuck in a couple of parts of video games. Like, I start video games, and then I don't finish them. So... Like, right now I'm stuck in a- like, I tried playing the original oh, God of War. I completely misjudged where he was gonna jump that time. That one was on me. I thought he was gonna leap forward, like, out of my way. Where did he get all these snazzy clothing from? Snazzy yeah, armor. He's wearing armor. Yeah. Nice! Thought so! Dude, the knife-only version of this boss fight is so friggin' annoying. Yeah. Well, you obviously I'm on the easiest difficulty when I do it. You know what would that be nice? Annoying. I got impatient. How would you feel about some chicken and broccoli? I guess so. We haven't had that in yeah, I could eat fucking that. forever. Got him. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. In the easiest difficulty, that's enough to kill him, but I'll just shot him until three hits. What? On the easiest difficulty, that's enough to kill him, but I'll just shadow, it takes like three hits. Yeah, I've seen it take four. I think it, it can take three if you do enough damage to him in between each one. I wish. Oh, and I'm out of grenades too, aren't I not? I am. Wait. Oh, I got flash grenades. I didn't even realize I had flash grenades. I wish.
so I think that should kill him. Please, God, let that be enough to kill him. It is not. All right, babies. That's Will the I end kill him? Find episode. out next time. Bye. And we're back. And he's still fighting him. What's the next target? That was not condescending. That was yeah. just, you know, legit. Accurate, yeah. I better have fucking killed him. I think it did. Yeah, he's died. Check him out. He's dying. Nice. Alright, so this boss fight wasn't as long as I thought it would be, thankfully. But, it, you know, it, it, thankfully it ended before it could get too frustrating. And thankfully, this is the end of the Chris segment. So just, um. The rest of you stay above ground. Alright, so, you're, okay, you are listening good, because there's about to be a bunch of, like, uh, story expedition coming up. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, here comes a cutscene. I'm just also trying to order food before so they like close. <laughs> I doubt she saw any further use for her. And you know how I long guess. it takes me to. Did Miranda even know Rose exists? Wait. A moldy little bird told her maybe. We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. <laughs> Here we go. I found it. It's the Mega My Suit. A what? The Mega My Suit. It's basically like the big thing. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives. I, I just remembered that's how There's he did it. He just threw the whole knife village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Miranda's lab. Okay, nothing big here, but basically, you know, experiments and stuff. We got this guy. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Never really looked around, but it's just like it's just photographs and shit. There's Miranda with her baby. Wait, I thought Miranda was the big bad. She is. And this is her lab? Mm-hmm. Huh. So what was wrong with her? Why'd she, why'd she go Eva, on a rampage? It's been a hundred years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Mega My Seed. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Mega My Seed regulator, the giant's chalice. All that is left to merge her with the Mega My Seed, the ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Mega My Seed, completely by accident. When I touched the black surface, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega My Seed breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implemented the, vi implemented the villagers with mold from the Mega My Seed. That way I can control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kaudu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I know she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I've waited so long to see you again. Huh. So basically, Evelyn, the big bad from the previous game, was a creation. Made from that big old lumpy thing. Mm-hmm. 
the thing that he like threw the knife in and that uh -huh. kills it, I no. guess. There's a bomb attached to the knife. He's gonna blow it up, but first he needs to make sure Miranda's dead. But still, it's such a go. small... Show me your hands! Plastic explosions can be big. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? I still wouldn't turn my back on her. On. Right. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Dang, he's got some beefy arms, man. Mm -hmm. Come on. To punching all his boulders. After all. Like his what shoulders look like gone? boulders. Mm -hmm. He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. <clears throat> we have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. So she knew something about her husband and why he can keep on cutting off his damn hand and coming back with new ones. <laughs> well, no. He, well, he's reattaching the old one. He's not growing new hands. Whatever. You're like, that's slightly less impressive, but still very impressive, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That was surprisingly an intense scene because, like, we straight up forgot about that bitch. We thought she was dead already. Mm -hmm. And just like you're so excited to see her that you don't even think about how it's like she's straight up is sitting here just a prisoner of war. Here we go. God, freezing. <sighs> Everybody. Oh no! My phone's dying. I don't know. Gotta get your charger. Okay, as long as you're listening. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. I'm just trying to also um, order food. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Evelyn, she's the big bad from the previous game. She was like, uh, she could like create illusions and shit. You know what I mean? Like Dead. hallucinations. Oh yeah, because she's I mean, like a fungus. Yeah, exactly. Miranda. She's basically the mold. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Wrong. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, See. Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember? Oh shit. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That, that's, that's impossible. No way. 
<laughs> shouldn't even be able to walk around. <laughs> Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What am I? Can he not say fuck you to a child? <laughs> well... I, I did all that. <laughs> Alright, let's find out how he now abuses this child further in the next episode. That's Bye, what baby. you want to see? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I and went dark. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All oh, right, the hand. So it's dying now. Do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Dang. Family. No. Rose. I. Have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful that like a parent's love of their child is so intense that it could literally justify them going into any dangerous situation? Straight up. Like, if you need a man to be in a village full of monsters and fight his way through it, you know, you just have them kidnap his daughter. Yeah. And it makes complete, like, sense. Like, it's like, we get it, man. Like, because if, if it was a dog, you'd be like, just fucking buy a new one. <laughs> They run away, it's just like, you feel bad for them, but like, at the same time, you know, it's like, eh. Mm -hmm. Can't do that with your kids. <laughs> I love it if the game gave you alternate endings where you don't do anything exciting. Like, there's an ending, like, you know how the game starts and it's like you wake up from the, uh, the crashed car? Alright, I need your help. What's that? I need you to make this under $60. Okay. Help. I can't look at the thing. Just tell me. Actually, I can look at the thing now. Cause it's still a cutscene. Well, we don't need that egg drop soup or the. I, I just fucking take out all the shit you want. At last, he awakes. <laughs> just leave all my shit. <laughs> That's the problem we have here. You were having a nightmare. Because I mean, we could take out the soup, but it's not gonna make much of a difference to the total. Okay, and you wanted you? Do you really want the wings? Yeah. Okay. Not long till dawn. Like I'm saying, more so, cut out sushi's. Okay. What's the taco roll? Take me to Miranda. What? All right. T a k o roll. Taco roll. I don't remember. I well, oh wait, that's the, the, the that's the Japanese. Uh, and with the Philly rolls for me, so octopus. All right, do you sure want the salmon mango or the salmon tempura? Well, falling apart. Salmon mango. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the yes. salmon tempura because we already got shrimp tempura. Foolish okay. of me to ask. All right, we have the shrimp tempura. Speaking of foolish questions, who? What are you? Uh, salmon mango roll or and the? I can't quite answer that. Tamago egg roll. Ooh. Oh, the salmon with the mango. Alright, so we're the egg roll. Trim to pour, sweet potato, want. Philly. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid Are we you under 60? No, we're at 75. Damn it! Are you ready? Alright, how about we, um, we get rid of the, uh, chicken and broccoli, because that's nine bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I have to be. Drops down to 65. <clears throat> so now... Gotta go. How about we get rid of that? We just gotta get rid of like one more roll and we're good. Or the egg roll. No, I want the egg roll. Alright, so taco roll, salmon roll, shrimp tempura roll, sweet potato roll. Which one do you want to get rid of? Shrimp tempura. Okay. Yeah. Shrimp tempura we're getting rid of. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're at $57. Yay. Thank you. It's like you just listen to us have like an actual like whole financial conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, 
this is great relationship advice for any of y'all that have problems with your lady never knowing what the fuck she wants to eat. Mm -hmm. Literally, girl, go on DoorDash. Just click on everything you want. Like, go through the whole fucking menu. Click on everything you want and then hand it off to your man and be like, take away things so that it's under this amount. Mm -hmm. It's like, nine times out of ten, you will be just happier for it. And I'm saving because I don't want to ever have to do that Chris part this again on this difficulty. Alright, so we sell Heisenberg's heart, sell the Crystal Mace, sell Crystal uh, Heisenberg. Oh, that, that heart's just someone else's Heisenberg. Sell a cigar. Hold on to my lock picks, because why not? Hold on to my first amendment, because why Tomorrow not? Tomorrow I don't. You can't let me not go and um, put in the money. Tomorrow Sunday. I can still make deposits, though, right? In cash. I don't know. I, I don't know how your bank works. Most places do. Most places do. I just I don't know your bank personally. Yeah, no, they do. All right, now I'm focused. How many episodes are we in? <laughs> I have no idea. Why? <clears throat> It's like it literally took me an oh, actual, like, what, three or four episodes to order food? <laughs> Alright, I'm selling this shotgun because I don't like it. Oh. Okay. And I'm buying the other <laughs> shotgun that I do like. It's like I've been thinking about it for a while, but it's just like... Honestly, it's like there's a power trade-off. This one is stronger, but uh -huh. this one has a faster rate of fire. And that, like, matters to me. Cool. Doesn't it? Do, it doesn't fit as much bullets, but it's like it's a shotgun. Oh, I don't need as many bullets. You know what I mean? Sorry, I dropped my uh, controller, mm -hmm. and it tugged on my face. I hope this one I makes itself useful. To... When please did these pants well. get here? Please be well, he says. Thanks. Oh, I, I took them. To, I took them out here in case I wanted to wear them. Oh, okay. Because I thought that I had just taken off my pants in the living room, just left my pants places. And that's not like me. I don't like leaving dirty laundry around. Alright, so I do have the flash grenades equipped. I do have my Magnum. You know, I'll equip my new shotgun, why not? Oh my god, let's talk about Magnum ice cream. That's pretty okay. What do you mean it's pretty okay? It is the best ice cream. You can't tell Everybody right can now, but... fight me on that. Right now you're moving super slow, like the game makes you move slow for this part. Like, it really emphasizes that Ethan's on his last legs. Like, that's a good way of storytelling through gameplay. Oh yeah, that's the other oh, thing that mate. I liked about 10-2, is the camera angles actually told a story, rather than them just being there just to be there. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that subtle shit in video games. Oh my god, this shotgun is a piece of shit, but then I guess that was the last one. These guys don't drop none. Just spit out a man. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even see you. you. You snuck up on me. Oh, you didn't see him? I thought you you knew. Nah, he snuck up on me. Cause cause the tendrils are always moving. So when you catches your peripheral, you see movement. You just think it's a tendril. That is excellent. Going. And as far as like a tool and like a uh, horror video games. Mm -hmm. Like, making something that just moves constantly in the background so it makes it hard to see if something's coming up on you. Mm hmm Like, even if you, like, um... had, like, a dark hallway with, like, little, like, bright white lights and you gave, like, the monsters, like... glowing eyes, but they're dark as well. Check this out. Is that you? Mold, oh, baby. How I've missed you! Did you have to hold her up Simba style, though? What? <laughs> My power is leaving me! Rose! <laughs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. 
Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Dang. Good teamwork. Let go. Let go. Okay, she lets go. Creating this moment, and you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. I should have gave her a more gaping head wound. That would have been more horrifying. Yeah, for real. Rose, like if they just blew off half her face. Mm -hmm. She's still talking shit. Like exactly. Vegeta. She's like Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, like Vegeta. <laughs> he always talks shit even after he gets his ass kicked. That's true. You disposed of my folks' children and Oh, well, I win. Find out next time. Oh, I've, I've never seen this attack before. All right, guys. Bye. bye. And we're back. Yeah. Now and he's fighting the big bad. The mm -hmm. Is it like Final I Fantasy where she's got a bunch of different those. like uh uh not like forms? She has a couple stages, yeah. But it's like the way they transition from one into the other, it's not like a cutscene where action stops. It kind of just just one continuing thing. Let me heal myself. So, so like, does he like eventually at the end of the game go fight the alligator or Please, whatever the Mr. fuck Winters. took the chomp out of his hand? You don't remember that it was a lichen that I already killed? Yeah, but I'm just saying, is he gonna go back and start digging through stomachs, be like, where the fuck is my hand? Yeah, why are my fingers healing? You understand the level of Cause I mean, if you think about it, he could totally do that. His body does shit like that. Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? As long as she doesn't have any instant kill attacks, I'm good. Cause let me look at this. Takes one herb and one chem fluid. I have 78 herbs, so I yeah, can I... I can heal like just under 80 times in this battle. So I would have to fuck up hard, like that. I'm on pace to use them all before the end of this battle. Now die. No. Like, shouldn't have even spent that much money on food. I've never seen a human live without Are you sure? But tonight is date night. You know what it is? And it, all those financial rules go out the fucking window. It looks like you can run between her legs, but you really can't. Like, she will get you, like, every time. So don't... That, you know, let me talk... Oh, well, see? It's like, I thought that was her for a second, because I see the movement. Mm. It's like you keep, like, thinking, like, oh, I'll try running past her, run through her legs. And it's like, no, she's going to get you. You can't do that. So you have to treat her like you, she's just a giant tank. Yeah, I can use up all these in one battle. You can watch. World record for most potions used in a, a Miranda fight. <laughs> potions. Now I'm thinking Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's like, now that I think about it, it's like... Resident Evil is just Final Fantasy. Is it? Now die! Like, except that you have no party members. It's just you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I shall put you to rest. Slightly different battling system. Slightly different? Yeah. Not drastically different? Same Not turn-based RPG. Spider, her spider form is fucking relentless. Take me this splendid power! Yeah, right! All it's done is drive you nuts. Like, no, oh, cool. She's I mean, on to the like, next the phase. Enemies, like, always have, like, stages and, like... I think that's, that's just a video game trope in general. Well, the thing is that it's like, with the turn base, it's only like, because you're doing text instead of doing the movement around to do it. <laughs> you're playing more like chess oh, rather than like basketball. Surviving. 
I mean, you know, she's still progressing, I'm still alive, and I have all this fucking stats, it's like, all this gear, you know what I mean? It's the kind of thing where it's like, I, I should be okay. As long as she doesn't, like, kill, hit, kill me before I can heal, I should be okay, just because it's like, I have enough shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can just keep taking her attacks. <clears throat> That's what it was that I was comparing it to. So, like... Yeah, how in ten two, which is what I've been playing lately. Mm -hmm. Um, they encourage you to use like potions and like all the elixirs and all the shit that's like normally you want to like conserve. Yeah, it's not like a they game. They encourage you to use all of it. Mm -hmm. Like during a regular, like you know, Pokemon battle, like on the road. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You like, save your you items would, for important battles. It wouldn't be unnormal to use like four high potions, you know, during the battle. Nope, she got me. No. See, somehow she was able to kill me before I could reload. Bitch. Before I could save, I should say. Do you have to like? Oh, yeah, wait, do the no, whole fight. Like, level up. You just are what you are. Yeah, I just do the whole fight over and over. Um, let's, uh... I guess we can skip that cutscene. You fulfilled your purpose, Mistress. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamite. Oh, cool. Now, please do not worry. It seems to me like you always walk right into where she's going. Like, why don't she you So that was a one-hit kill right there, so she does have a one-hit kill attack, apparently. No, I'm saying, why don't you go towards the right? Let me just... Maybe I'll tr try stunning her with the flash grenades. Because you always step to the left when you're turning around. Why don't you turn to the right? You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamite. Now, please do not worry, little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with. Dang, what is this attack? She's like shooting shit so at you. you Didn't you just restart this? Not you wait. I don't remember don't there being trees. But what it is is. Oh. Truly a really? Like you can't get that's a one hit. How come the time? first one lasted so long and now I keep getting hit with these instant kill attacks? I think you just fucking blasted her with fucking ammo and didn't give her a chance. Like the first time you went into the battle, you were like, "Fuck you." Yeah, one gun blazing. It's like maybe that's what you, you need to do at the beginning. Okay, now we heal. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with truth. So now you can die. See what I mean? Like, you just came in guns blazing and just fucked her up. Get away! How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? The Metamycete saved me from the pits of despair. It All right, move to the right. Me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. <laughs> oh, she came right at me. She was gonna come up. Okay, so she does that. Well, I'm doing really good. I'm on like stage. Yeah, you are. I'm doing stage three. I've only healed After one, so it's pretty good. Everyone dies. Oh. Damn, that was good. Feel the dark god's wrath! You gotta start going <laughs> Yeah, fuck that bitch up. Think you oh, dark take phase. my daughter? This is the this is the farthest I've ever gone, the dark phase. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you have to my place. Oh, rest now. The hell I will! I will take it! The mines are smart because it's like, you know she's coming to you, so you might as well... You know, it's in the dark, you can't see her, but you know she's coming to you. So you can just lay down these mines and she'll w walk right into them. Yeah. Back 
my daughter. Oh, I got a heal. <laughs> cool. Now I can. Cry. Oh, I still got three mines, so let me equip these. Die! 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 Let's do five more. How cool. are you getting? I don't even. Oh, uh, you're crafting rusted, them. Yeah, mixing the rusted scraps with the metal scraps. So wait, you're just sitting here in the middle of this fucking. Exactly. Battle. That's why it's so broken. Crafting. In Resident Evil <laughs> Seven, in Resident <laughs> Evil Seven, you had a smaller inventory, and craft items actually took space up in your main inventory, so uh, there was more strategy. But now it's just like I literally just hold on to all these things, and I just craft what I need when I need it. Yeah, and you the. Game, Not only that, the whole game I got, pauses. Yeah, like. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, they didn't do that in, the, in Resident Evil 7 either. Resident Evil 7. I'm just saying that's hilarious to think of Ethan just fucking All right, let's sitting see. there crafting items. <laughs> like, being like, hold on, hold on. All right, let's see if we can get her next time, guys. All right. Bye. And we're back. Yeah, and, like, Ethan's just gonna, like, totally, like, I understand. just sit there and be like, wait a minute! I didn't make my mind yet. If I combine Rose with a Mega Mice, my daughter will be made oh, manifest at last! Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I've waited a no, I'm gonna heal anyway. I know I took minor damage, but it's like I don't want to get hit with a powerful yeah, attack like and die right. instantly. You got plenty. Such vitality. Oof. Oof, exactly. Good thing you did heal. That probably would have killed you. Exactly. See, I'm thinking ahead. Every hit you heal. That's a good roll. Yeah. At least for this road. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. Hey, this is the last boss. Uh, right? Oh, now she goes back to the spider phase, because she, uh, she she goes back and forth through her phases now. I think, I think this is the last stage. The last stage, I think. She cycles you don't through know her what stages. She's about to she's do. Exactly, she cycles through her stages. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho! Oh, oh shit. shit. Exactly, it keeps. It's like as soon as you knew you missed that, you were like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh shit, she's faster too now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't spend as much time crafting those, she just like... Throws she's just her. like, fuck you. I, like, you know how it's like I was like, going nice and slow to teach you how to... Exactly, she's like, I'm going fast now because I'm mad. Why won't you die? That's how, that's how you think I feel, bitch. And this is the easiest phase to fuck her up in. There's nothing. Gotta hide behind At least she doesn't seem to be doing the night one, which seems to be the most tedious. Yeah. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. I, I guarded that, but I should I still need to heal. Yeah. Just every hit heal. Don't don't get like none shall interfere in my grand designs. <laughs> like don't get... Oh, this yes. is the final phase. This is how you end the creatures. <sighs> to ensure I never see you. Dang. That's the Village of Shadows is complete. I did Done. it. Done. And we didn't even make it nearly to 11 o'clock. Exactly. My daughter! My Eva! Dang, yo, she looks gross. So after this, I'm going to just play a little bit more just so I can unlock some stuff. Okay. And then after that... Uh, we're fucking Gucci. Night.
Because I Because, I mean, I do like playing Final Fantasy. You know, it's not that I didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's just that the last, um... Rose! Beating Village of Shadows allows me to get the final achievements you get from beating Story Mode. Now I just need to play the Mercenaries and I'll have all the achievements. Okay, but why the fuck is she, like, just... Just full of, like... But wait, how the fuck did he make a baby? I guess the mold of... The mold baby? Yeah. Yeah, she's part mold. That's why she was able to regenerate. Ethan! Huh. Ethan! Come on, Ethan. The thing that I think is bullshit on, is how did they fucking... Up. Not know that Ethan was mold, you know what I mean? Like, you're saying they didn't do any blood work or experiments on him after yes. the Baker house, you know what I mean? Right. You did it. It's finished. Or maybe they did know and they just were... They wanted... Their, well, like somebody said, Chris higher, didn't know. higher Chris up was than surprised. Umbrella and all that we shit. Move. And it's just an even deeper conspiracy where they're being controlled as con experiments and that's why it's a video game. You won't be surprised what what's called. You won't be surprised when that happens in the sequel because this series is so fucking convoluted. Yeah. Exactly. The next Resident Evil. Talking about they how they were using Ethan holes. Winters to uh, thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. experiment with hey, the mold. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, And you tell yourself, oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. It's like now Chris is going to be your father figure. I want to rip it off your back so bad. Please don't. <sighs> You know, there's this emotional scene going on here, Goodbye, and you're just playing with my back. I know, like, so Rob has, like, back knees, so it's like... He's I'm that person. I'm that bitch that will rip a pimple right off your face. Like... No, don't write that down! No! <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Rob has a notebook. That he, um, writes down all the silly shit that I say when we're, like, hanging out together. And sometimes I just write some racist shit in there, too, and, like, she won't, she doesn't, you know, and then now people think she's a racist. No, nobody believes that. Every single person hears something, and I'm like, I did not say that. If they believe me still. <laughs> If I was a bird... Which, honestly, they shouldn't HS. with some of those comments in there. <laughs> If I was a bird, I'd say no. Go. Go, take us up now. She's like, wait, what about Ethan? He's like, he's dead. She's like, you're sure this time? Wait! Where's Ethan? Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Dang. Dang. What was that? I told you to sit down. Come on, Chris, stop being fucking... Right? Like... You know what? Dick. You know what? He is a dick, but it makes sense for his character in a way. What have you Because he's like this Go macho on. man who's like not secure with his own emotions, you know what I mean? He stayed so we could all escape. Yeah, straight up. It's one of those things where Can it's like... Can you give me my coffee? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's consistent with his character. I get it. Need to see mm. this. But still, but it's still frustrating, you know. I'm like, come on, mother, be be he more emotional, really intelligent, talk to us. Like you almost want to be like, go to this therapy. Mm -hmm. He fucking needs it. 
I think most people that's are the, resident. The games don't game. explore. They don't explain yeah. like explore the, the PTSD of this too much. Yeah. You get one PTSD. scene in the Resident Evil remake where Jill has a nightmare, but that's it. You know, just like sort of how we downplay just everybody who like goes into war or has any of those like traumatic experiences. I mean, I don't downplay it, but... <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying that most people downplay it. Most people that have gone through it had downplay it themselves. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. I just watched my friends get blown up. Yeah, it you know, it's like it was so funny. It I saw a finger fly by me. Exactly. I like to pretend it was my buddy's middle finger because he was always letting me off. It's like, it's like people that are, like, upset by usually make a joke out of it and people think that mm. since you're making a joke of it... It must not be so bad. All right, since we're here, let's just enjoy the credits, because the credits tell a story, too. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm already invested. This is... I love shit like this. Like, give me more Tim Burton-y. I mean, actually, Liz, because I never watched the credits before. So that was her daughter, then. Mm-hmm. That pissed off all the gods and shit. Well, I think it's a fictional story, but it's like an allegory to, you know what I mean? Like there's, you know, you, you get what I'm saying? Like in their universe, this is just a fictional story, but it has parallels to what's going on with them. And we'll find out more about that next time, babies. Bye. So we can watch the credits together. <laughs> no. Okay. And we're back. Oh, I just realized they're singing the 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 the, the they're singing the uh, the the text. They're singing the story. I didn't realize that. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. Now you finally get to see how the story ends. Oh yeah, this was the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then they, what's it called, and then Mia stopped, Ethan made Mia stop reading it, right as the climax was about to happen. Yeah, and he was just like, that's so fucking creepy, stop reading that to our daughter. Uh -huh. And she was like, this is rich history. Uh -huh. Now it makes sense why Miranda would love it so much. Yeah. The fish, the vampire, and the doll maker. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more, in turn, is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Monty. I want that. Do they? Oh, I need to find that. They need to make that as an actual children's book? Yeah, I need that book. Mm -hmm. Like, I want the pictures and everything. You know what's funny to think? Like, I want it to be, like, bejeweled. Like, you know, those old-timey, like, uh, super expensive books that, like, royals used to this own is one and of, shit. This is one of Miranda's favorite stories, yet, like, she didn't see the irony or the parallels between what's going on with her and Ethan. Huh. Like the father's coming to burn down the forest. Or maybe she was like waiting for that. Well, what's it called? She didn't act like she was. She did want to succeed. It wasn't for her plan for her to get burnt down. Yeah, but this was also like a story that was written thousands and of well, years ago. Who knows ago. how long ago it was? They, they don't they don't specify. Well, they it's about her, and she's been working on this plan for over a thousand years. No, it's so. not over a thousand. It's only been a couple hundred, I think. Yeah, she said like a thousand years. No, she said a hundred. She said like this, the Spanish flu, right? Oh yeah, that was only like a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. I thought she said a thousand. 
Like I spent oh, an entire lifetime making this. A lifetime's plan. only about a hundred years here. Yeah. That is true. Check it out. This is a. This what? What's it called? This, to the right is that. That's backstory for Lady D. Oh. Yeah. Lady. Huh. Oh, I story. gotta watch this. Mm -hmm. See, I find the backstories way more interesting than what you mm -hmm. actually do in the game. Mm -hmm. It's more interesting to see how someone becomes a villain. Rather than seeing them already in their villain stage. Or saying, or watching someone defeat a better more than want someone defeat a villain. So wait, how'd she die? So I don't know, I think the mother died. I think maybe it's a, some kind of disease. Because she's bleeding. Or something, yeah. Yeah. So, like, vampirism? Well, I'm thinking tuberculosis, because, you know, it makes you throw up blood or whatever. Or yeah, that's true. Blood. So that's like one of those things there. in Moulin Rouge that's like one of those behind the scenes, like, yeah, no, that couldn't actually happen. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's like, it pulls you back into the fact that it's fantasy. Uh -huh. Cause it's like uh -oh. if oh now she's starting to vomit the blood. Cause if somebody has tuberculosis, or maybe it's they're not, tuberculosis, not maybe singing. It's thing. Yeah, or maybe it's maybe. during their last moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she meets up. So her father meets up with this guy. Tells him to go that way. Okay. See a doctor. Hopefully. Like, maybe they're both going to the doctor because they're everybody's all, no, look, getting they're tuberculosis. All going to church. They're all going to church. Mm. Like, I give super credit to the artist that made these because it is so good. Mm -hmm. Like, such a simple little drawing that you... Like, it's... It conveys so much with so little. Exactly. It's it's gorgeous. Mm. Like, the lighting's perfect, all the shades. Mm. Like, it's hard to make, like... Mm. I look how many different voice casts they got. They had an English, a Spanish, a Chinese, a Brazilian. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh, all better! <laughs> Russian. Alright, so she's all better. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, everybody got the vaccine, so everybody became mold. This is when she molded everybody. Mm -hmm. She purposely gave. Lady did 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 yeah. Fucking tuberculosis. No. How fucked up is that? No, it's how she gave her tuberculosis or whatever blood disease she has. It's just a blood disease. I don't clarify tuberculosis, but no, he cured her. Not the mother. She died. Oh yeah, the mother died, and then Miranda cured Lady D, young Lady D. That's what I'm saying. Like. She literally gave people tuberculosis to scare them into getting know? a fucking vaccine. Well, we don't know if that was the case or not. Honey. Right now, she people are like, I'm not putting that shit in my body. Exactly. Well, I'm saying she's a healer. That's her whole thing. So she's... Like, that sounds... No, that sounds too... Mm -mm. That sounds too... You saw one person with it, and you're like, she gave it to everyone. No, the whole village went up to the church to get yeah. it, and then they had another scene well, where everybody she was, was a walking healer. around. Because she was a healer in general. They all came up for whatever was wrong with them, and she healed them of that. Yeah, but it's still scary, and yeah. some people would not do it. Yeah, and then at that point, they wouldn't have a choice because they're surrounded by lichen. And now they have tuberculosis. Or whatever. No, they're surrounded by lichen. <laughs> or they become one. Exactly. Like, people would be able to, like... It is rare for you to survive it and mutate. That's why the four lords are, like, so powerful. And there's mm. only four of them. Most people just turn into lichen. 
Oh shit, that's Rose. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Wait, she had another kid? With another person? No, I think, that, I think that's, that's they're unrelated. Weird. No, I think that's someone else. I think that's just an unrelated people on the bus, but she did look a little too much like Mia. Maybe that was the point. I got it. Okay. To give her, like, the old, like, that used to be mom feels. Mm hmm. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. No birthday for Sorry I missed last week. Mm. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Dang. And we'll find out more next time, babies. Like, this got really, like, intense. All right, and we're back. Wait, Find out her us. like <laughs> just a kid. Fuck you, dude. You're a lot like him, you know. Like, stop saying things. Uh -huh. It's like clearly you are not the one, hun. Uh -huh. And they also need to learn how to make the eyelashes go up just a little bit more. Because I've noticed that they do this a lot where they make the bottom eyelashes like right way too far down. What? You see how the car's the car comes to a stop and you see that there's a person in the back? Yeah. If you were to zoom in, you see the character models of Ethan. So people are like, oh my god, is this like Ethan still alive? But let's be real, they could just be reusing a character model. It's true. Mm hmm. Father story Story's is now, now done. done. Huh. That is a nice way of putting that out. Universe's best dad trophy. Now you got your trophy. I do. Universe's you best dad. You did it. You can now get the following weapons from the extra content shop for finishing the game. The rocket pistol. Nice. You've completed the following challenge. Universe's best dad. Yep. Override his complete data. Yes, I will. Feel good, hun? It feels great. Now you finished. Be... Mm-hmm. It took some heartbreak and, like, slight mental Heisenberg breakdowns. <laughs> was the only part that was ridiculous. <laughs> Everything else was the right... Now, you got a little snippy during the guy with the spiked cleaver. Oh, a little bit, I guess. But it was just, like... That fight wasn't too long, you know what I mean? Like, that was fair. It's true. I'm fighting this guy on the hardest difficulty. He, you know, it makes sense I die a few times, you know what I mean? Oh, I forgot about the food. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I can't even afford infinite ammo for the rocket pistol. That sucks. Oh, the food is gonna be here in two minutes. Nice. Four minutes. Sorry. Nice. Well, we can just always cut this uh, video short. Yeah. Because I mean, okay. you're pretty much done, right? Yeah. I just wanted. I I just want to start my save and go. Sorry, on casual, because I'm not a masochist. And I'm just going to go up to where you meet the merchant, and I'm going to buy myself that rocket pistol. By the way, I'm almost able to do a split. Nice. Did I ever tell you I was working on that? No. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So I buy the rocket pistol. I buy the... Could you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Uh, I buy the recipe for the rocket pistol ammo. 
I craft some rocket pistol ammo, and then I have all the achievements you can get in story mode. <laughs> Sorry, I groaned like while stretching at the same time that the baby started it's making like baby noises, and it sounded real weird to me in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then after this, I just have all the achievements I have left to unlock Almost are just there. on mercenary mode. Let me just, in fact, I'll double check that right now. We can go through all the challenges right now. Ugh. Got the up yours one. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Let me just, uh. Sorry, I'm so out. rude. All of these, all of these, all of these, all of these. I'd rather just play some Final Fantasy. Yeah, we will. We're going to. I just want to Actually, do this. Actually, we should fast. probably eat first and then start. Yeah. Tinker and Artisan, I'm about to get those two. And then, yep, and then everything after that is just mercenaries. No, I have food coming. Yep, so after this, all I have to do is beat, is, is play mercenaries over and over and beat mercenaries. Do you ever watch me play mercenaries? There you go, sweetheart. I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't Mercenaries is the mini game where you basically, downstairs. basically, you just gotta kill a bunch of enemies. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You start out in like the Duke's room and you have cash, and then you buy what you wanna. You buy what you want, and then Oops. they pretty much just throw you into this area full of enemies, mm -hmm. and you gotta like kill them all. Nah. And it's a lot of fun. It's very different than the rest of the game. You know, your brother used to play a game sort of like that. Um. I don't remember what it was called. It was uh, on the PC. And it was like, um... Killing Floor? Is that it? Yes! I've never actually played that game. I don't even know what it looks like. It, I just know like, he used to he play it. He seemed to have a lot of fun. With, but your your brother is pure chaos, so it's well, like, he like would that, find that fun. Games like that seem like it'd be a lot of fun if you're playing it with people. Like, it, like you're a group, and it's like, okay, okay, boys, we gotta survive this. Let's see how many we can kill. I mean, honestly, I mean, I've seen your brother, yes, with that, but I've also seen him just, like, fucking having a blast just killing things, like, on the floor. Mm-hmm. It's funny, without, quotes without context, I just saw your brother having a blast just killing things on the floor. <laughs> like, I wish there was a way- Like, your brother would be good at being on a, like, uh, a gaming channel. Yeah. He's very animated. One of these days I want to do that, me and him are going to game together. You Once should. Get... Oh I... God, you guys together would be the. We've been through this. The you guys HD together podcast. would be the best show. Exactly. It's like your brother is the type of like dude that you kind of want to like almost like Homer type, like <laughs> choke him, just like. Ah. Yeah. He's the kind of dude you throw cards at, right? I still feel bad about that, okay? Tell like, the story. that was my making amends. Th th that's part of me making amends <laughs> for my recovery journey. So it's just like, okay, we were all drunk as fuck. And I mean, like, as fuck. And I, uh, we had just play finished playing Cards Against Humanity. And. I was helping, uh, like, you know, clean up the cards, and I had a big old deck of cards in my hand, and I'm thinking, you know, like, how funny would it be if I just, like, fluttered all of these cards all over Mike and scare him? <laughs> but I didn't anticipate that when you threw a deck of cards... <laughs> Cause I'm so drunk that it would go like a fucking brick. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I threw a deck of cards at his brother's face, mm -hmm. and it hit him like a fucking dead weight, and then it burst. And he looked at you just like, "Why would you like, do this?" So offended, and I'm like, "Oh my god, that is." so not what I meant to happen at all. You were not supposed to get hurt in this process. It was just supposed to be like, boo. Was it? Yeah. It was just supposed to be like, boo. <laughs> I feel so bad. He still brings it up, the motherfucker. I feel bad that I did it, but fuck him for bringing it up. He's a I'm motherfucker. I'm happened like eight years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a motherfucker for being, for, for still being, for not, you know, for still being mad at me. I know, 
I just, I, you know what it is? I just wish he would forgive me already for it because it's he like, has. I know he has, but he's also an 80. So, he knows he gets a reaction, said, so he's gonna keep doing it. Exactly, motherfucker. Like, you've been like on me about the fucking mailbox that I hit for years. Yeah, I a never hit a mailbox. I know I never hit the mailbox. But you will still bring up, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, that mailbox that you hit eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And it just immediately, like, sends that shiver of, like, oh, I want to, like, hit him vibe. But I won't. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I have self-control and shit. Mm. You know, when I talked about hitting you, you said that was dark. But now you're talking about hitting me. <laughs> Are we violent? Are we? I don't know. Are we? I think I'm learning things about myself. <laughs> you like to hit people. Great. <laughs> uh, the food's here, so can Where we... Are we broadcasting? Am... No, we're still broadcasting. It, it, it's fine. I only have a little bit left, and, it, and it's casual. You know what I mean? I don't have to. Okay. We can just chill and while we do this shit. Mm-hmm. Hey Jess, if you're dumb, don't say anything. Ah, she's dumb now. I love Chinese food. I love Chinese food. What happened? I remember watching a, I watched a little documentary about the history of Chinese food in the United States. Chinese food used to be racist, like like yeah. racists used to not eat it. Like the thing is, what's it called? It was um because. Like... All right, tune in next time, guys. Yeah. Alright, bye. Hon, can we just like not broadcast right now? I'd rather just be able to eat and okay. peace.